I just passed the CBBH exam on my first try. In this video, I'm going to go over my experience and how I think you should study if you're going for it as well. To even qualify to take the CBBH exam, you must first completely finish the Bug Bounty Hunter job role path, which consists of 20 modules specific to web app pen testing. It goes over many different types of attacks and goes in depth on each one, from evading filters to chaining exploits for code execution. I've heard some people being upset that you have to complete 100% of the course, even if you already know a lot of it, but I personally found it helpful. I learned some really useful tricks on some modules that I would have otherwise skipped over. It took me around a month or so to complete the course. Keep in mind, I was in school for five days a week, but I already knew about half the material already. I had previously done a ton of Hack the Box CTFs on my stream to showcase my progress and to help other people out. It's supposed to be targeted towards junior level web app pen testers, but keep in mind this is Hack the Box. If you can do easy, maybe some medium machines, you should be fine. But all that really matters in the end is that you understand the material in the course, as this is what's going to be on the exam. And ask for help if you've exhausted all resources and still can't understand something. It's best to ask for help during the course because you won't be able to during the exam. The course can be bought in a few different ways through buying cubes, monthly plans, and yearly plans. I was lucky enough to qualify for the student subscription, which is only $8 a month for all the necessary modules. It really is an amazing deal if you're a student. An exam voucher can only be bought directly for $210, but one is actually included in the yearly plans. Each voucher actually consists of two exam attempts. You must submit a report and retake the exam within 14 days of receiving feedback to qualify for that second attempt. If you have already bought something from Hack the Box, your banking information is probably already saved. I accidentally made the mistake of buying two exam vouchers because there was no redirect or pop-up, but thankfully it was refunded. The exam is not proctored and you can start it at any time. If you're fairly new to hacking, don't stress about that first attempt. Just treat it as a practice exam, because unfortunately, Hack the Box doesn't offer any. In the exam, you have seven days to attack multiple websites as a web app pen test for a company and write a comprehensive report outlining the attacks and vulnerability mitigation strategies. There are 10 total flags, each varying from 5, 10, or 15 points each, but you need 80 out of 100 to pass. I really enjoyed the realistic time frame in comparison to Offsec's 24-hour time crunch. I work best after a good night's sleep and not being stressed out. Most of my progress was actually made in the mornings where I had fresh ideas in my head. It took me about three days to get a passing score and about a day and a half to write a 61 page report. Granted, most of it was screenshots. I honestly enjoy taking the exam. The client is set up as sort of a satirical company and there's actually a few hidden Easter eggs. Hack the Box staff is exceptional and they did a great job with the exam structure. But it did take almost a month to finally get my results. And the exam definitely wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. I was pushed to the limits of what I knew about web app pen testing. Taking detailed notes and doing CTFs to train your skills is a necessity. Some boxes I have done that have similar attacks include 2 million, editorial, usage, headless, and good games. And practice writing reports for these boxes. The exam provides a report template which includes the need for a CVSS 3.1 score, CWE, descriptions, security impacts, detailed attack walkthroughs, mitigation strategies, and any links to resources that may help the client resolve the vulnerabilities. Utilizing, but not relying, on ChatGPT can aid in keeping a professional tone and searching for additional information. Practicing this on boxes beforehand will help speed up the process during the exam. More detail is provided in the final module, Bug Bounty Hunting Process. In addition to the course, you can utilize Portswigger Academy, which is free to help reinforce the knowledge learned. But there were things on the exam that I have never seen in a CTF before, so taking notes on the course is a must. I started switching my notes from Obsidian over to RemNote, but it's all personal preference. If you are in the exam and didn't take proficient notes, I recommend utilizing Hack the Box Academy's search feature to refresh your memory on specific topics as a backup. Also. Make sure you understand how to perform attacks manually and not rely on automated exploitation tools. Burp Suite and FF were the two tools I used the most, so make sure you understand how to effectively use them. All of the web apps in the exam are under the same company and related to one another. If you get stuck, try completing a different one before going back. Also, work on your report while pen testing. Take notes and screenshots along the way. Get a good night's sleep beforehand and start on the weekends and take a day or two off of work or school. 
drink plenty of water, and take breaks. If you have any specific questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, join my Discord server, or pop in my streams on Sundays where I do live CTFs. If you are taking the exam soon, I wish you good luck and have fun. Peace.